and it was his conclusions, formulated in the theory of special relativity, that opened the door into the world of time travel. Imagine a man named Jack, standing in the middle of a train carriage, travelling at a steady speed. Jack's bored and starts bouncing a ball up and down. What would Jill, standing on the platform, see through the window as the train whistles through? Well, between Jack dropping the ball and catching it again, Jill will have seen him move slightly further down the track, resulting in her seeing the ball follow a triangular path. This means Jill sees the ball travel further than Jack does within the same time period. And because speed is distance divided by time, Jill actually sees the ball move faster. But what if Jack's bouncing ball is replaced with two mirrors which bounce a beam of light between them? Jack still sees the beam go up and down, and Jill still sees the light beam travel a longer distance. Except this time Jack and Jill cannot disagree on the speed, because the speed of light remains the same no matter what. And if the speed is the same, while the distance is different, this means the time taken will be different as well. Thus time must tick at different rates of people moving relative to each other. Imagine that Jack and Jill had highly accurate watches that they synchronised before Jack boarded the train. During the experiment, Jack and Jill would each see their own watch ticking normally. But, if they meet up again later to compare watches, less time would have elapsed according to Jack's watch, balancing the fact that Jill saw the light move further. This idea may sound crazy, but like any good scientific theory, it can be tested. In the 1970s, scientists boarded a plane with some super accurate atomic clocks that were synchronised with some others left on the ground. After the plane had flown around the world, the clocks on board showed a different time from those left behind. Of course, at the speed of trains and planes, the effect is minuscule. But the faster you go, the more time dilates. 